I know that many of you are feeling a little bit insecure on how to do EFT tapping. So I want you to listen in today as we go through a very, very quick summary so you can see how easy and effective it can be. I know many of you have taken my classes before and are watching this as a review. For those of you that haven't seen it before or don't know emotional freedom techniques tapping, it's a really powerful way to shift your emotions quickly. In fact, there's a full training video I'll post right there. Let's get started All right after the show reel. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, the first thing we want to do is set up a powerful setup statement. What is in the setup statement? Your event or situation. Remember, the situation is as specific as you can make it. What I usually use as a, an example is fighting with my sister two weeks ago. So thinking about fighting with my sister two weeks ago instead of all the times we fought. So how do I feel right now thinking about fighting with my sister two weeks ago? So we want to pull up the emotion that we feel now. We can't change the past. So not what happened then. What do we feel right now when we think about it? Evaluate that level of strength from zero to 10. How strong is it? Zero means it's non-existent, which is where we'd like to get to. And a level 10 is overwhelming. So write that down. And then notice if you feel it anywhere in your body. So is it in your head somewhere, in your chest, in your stomach? Is your fingertip tingly? Just notice. If there's no sensation anywhere in your body, you can skip this piece. This is the only piece of EFT you can skip in the setup statement. So once you have your event, your emotion, and your body part, you also want to come up with your acceptance statement. So this looks like I deeply accept myself or I'm open to letting this go or I accept I feel this way. So any of those work or something that you make up on your own, remember it must be positive and in the present. Once you have that, then we put our setup statement together, tapping on the side of the hand. So for example, even though when I think of this event, I feel the emotion in whatever area of my body and the acceptance phrase. So that'll sound like this. Even though when I think about fighting with my sister two weeks ago, I feel sadness in my stomach. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though when I think about fighting with my sister two weeks ago, I feel sadness in my stomach and I'm open to letting this go. And you can change up your setup statements or use the same ones, doesn't matter. As long as it's the same event and the same emotion, even though I feel sad in my stomach, thinking about fighting with my sister two weeks ago, I deeply and completely accept how I feel. Good, so that was three times. Now the top of the head, just the emotion and the body part if that's present. Sadness in my stomach. Good, between the eyes. Sadness in my stomach. Good, side of the eyes, remembering you can use one hand or two hands, doesn't matter. Sadness in my stomach. Good, under the eyes, sadness in my stomach. And under the nose, sadness in my stomach. Under the mouth, sadness in my stomach. Under the collarbones, sadness in my stomach. Remember, we want to get both sides, but we can hit it with just one. And then under the arms, either across or same side, sadness in my stomach. Great. Well done. Now you're going to reevaluate what's changed. Your emotion level, the type of emotion, where it is in your body. Reset up a new setup statement. And keep going until it's down to three or less, hopefully a zero. Remember, if you're feeling an emotion right now, and the event is right now, like right now I'm feeling anxious, or right now I'm feeling sad, you don't even have to say anything. You can just tap. Or if you're in front of people, you can rub just a couple of the points. So remember that you can use this at any point in time. 
by holding points, by rubbing points. You can use it driving down the road if you need to, if you're feeling stressed or to let go of something during work. Remember, be flexible, be playful. There is no perfect way to do it. The only caution is do not work on traumas on your own and don't work on big situations like all the anxiety that I feel or thinking about all of the future. It's too big and it either won't work or it'll emotionally overwhelm. So be specific, be playful, be gentle with yourself and enjoy. I'll see you next time. Remember you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable.